First Corinthians, chapter 3. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk, and not with meat, for hitherto ye were not able to bear it. Neither yet now are ye able, for ye are yet carnal. And whenas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man? I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then, neither is he that planteth anything, neither is he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Now he that planteth, and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with God, ye are God's husbandry, ye are God's building. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereon. For other foundation can no man lay than that is lain, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by the fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss. But he himself shall be saved, yet so, as by fire. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, he shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in his own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Therefore let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. Hey, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak Much mercy to you uh, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David, all you believers of God and the new covenant, which is the third temple, which the third temple we are. We are the third temple. We are the third temple, which is a spiritual temple. It has nothing to do with synagogues and groups and camps and broad paths. All right. You have to understand that. And one of the things I want to explain uh, is that knowing that you are Yahweh Shai spoke of is in I am the prophets spoke in a matter is in I am so they knew the Lord was with them they wasn't in no hopeful maybe doubtful spirit and that's what guys in these camps are displaying because they are unsure ultimately by their doctrine we know they're not of the Lord we know that all right it's by what you speak you know, it's, it's by what is by and how you speak and what you're saying by this time. By this time, these camps, uh, we, we've proven that they don't have the doctrine of the Lord. They just have a camp curriculum, which includes a little bit of Yahweh Shai here and there, a little bit of the Lord, you know, but mainly they don't have the, the doctrine of the third temple. The doctrine is the doctrine of the new covenant which these uh, camps, they they totally discard the new covenant right now until they get a new body. So they're not a part of this third temple. And the truth is they're against it. And it's all out there now. You guys that's out there on the street, it don't matter if you're out there. You're out there without the Lord. You're out there under a camp curriculum, a camp doctrine. You're, uh, you're out there uh, part of this world agenda, covering up the true servants of God which the Lord tells you in the scriptures that you are the sons of the ones that kills the prophets. 
And well, I think Stephen said, which one of the, 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 the prophets you didn't kill? Well, I think the Lord may have said that. So that's what these guys are. They're they're set up to, to cover up and send a flood after the woman and after the, the true brothers, us true brothers that really have the testimony. These camps were set up as a flood to flood out the new covenant. As in the meanwhile, they teach you how shy doubting, hoping that they are of God. Now I'm going to go into something real quick. I got a couple things. The Lord's they didn't the Lord and the prophets of the scripture, they didn't operate under a sense of hopeful elect. They didn't operate under, under that. They knew that they were of the elect. Not in a sense how these guys are teaching it. They're teaching it, telling you you're not, you're not in the covenant. Paul and them didn't teach you that. Peter and them didn't teach you that. And like I said yesterday, when Paul was talking about double honors to the, to the real apostles and the elders, that was going into the ones that were teaching the new covenant. Now, for example, uh, Paul's elder was Peter because Peter was walking with the Lord. So Paul's elder was Peter and the apostles, the true apostles, James and them. So this is what, in that context, when Paul was speaking about double honor your elders, the ones that have been teaching Yahweh Shai and the new covenant doctrine, everything of the new covenant pertains to the new covenant and the new testament of the Lord. It is not talking about the old. So technically, like I said, another lesson, these camps, these elders, they don't deserve no honor, no apologies, and they deserve everything that's coming today as being consumed by the Lord's mouth. So what I'm going to do in this one, I'm going to show you in the scriptures where the Lord and them, they didn't, they didn't go, they didn't speak of as um, being something as hopeful or in a doubtful fucking spirit all right just because guys are on the, on the streets that doesn't mean anything you're out you're on the streets without the doctrine of the new covenant in the third temple you're just out there teaching the bible you, you're no different than um the fucking churches and shit on the corners and actually you're worse because you know you're israelites but one thing you don't know, which is step, which is a step further, is that you're that you don't know that you're of God. You're not of God because you don't have the Lord's doctrine. You see now this is not far fetched because all the men of the Lord. Um, they knew who they were. Samuel said that he he, he said, I am the seer. Yahweh Shai said, I am the tree of life. Yahweh uh, Moses even said, Hey, when you send me, when 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 you when the uh when I go down to them, the Lord said, Tell them that I, I that 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 the Lord sent you. And rough and rough uh roughly paraphrasing that. So what I'm trying to get you to understand is that the men of the Lord knew that they were the Lord. They wasn't hoping. The only reason these guys are hoping because they don't have the Lord. They have a camp curriculum, which is cutting them from being of the Lord. You have to let that camp doctrine go and just understand the Lord. Now, what some of these guys have done, they have made an agreement with this world and death and the hell and with Esau and with this world, they're in agreement with it. So they can't agree with the new covenant. So that's where the flood and revelation comes in. So you have a flood of guys that are on the streets, but they are not of God. All right. They're under the old law of Moses, wearing those old garments, keeping those old highly day, high, high holy days, keeping those old new moons. And uh, 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 pursuing the Galatians, those are beggarly elements. Pursuing to Galatians, you're cursed uh, celebrating that, rehearsing that shit. Now, when you go to Judges, back in the Old Testament, you were supposed to rehearse those things of the Old Testament. Now, the Lord came and he left. You're supposed to be uh, rehearsing the acts of Yahweh Shai and the apostles now. All right. A lot of you have to have the Bible but you don't have an understanding. You don't have you. You don't have not the ability to put the Bible in its proper contents because you don't have a mind of the Lord. You're carnal. 
So we are the third temple. Ain't no fucking hopeful nothing. Because guys, when they say hopeful, they're saying it in a doubting because they're not of God. They're not convicted. They just want to be seen on the street. And you could stand on the street all you want, but by your doctrine, you're not of the Lord. This is how the Lord taught us to discern. So the more guys speak and talk and go out, the more we see that they're not of God It's easy. The Lord taught us that. All right. The Lord taught us many things, <laughs> which you guys don't even listen to the Lord. You listen to your elders. Which the, the, the true elders are the elders of the new covenant, which, for example, the elders of the new covenant were, or, were the apostle Peter. With the apostle John, even even Paul. But Paul honored his elders, which were Peter and, Yah, you know, Yahweh Shai, which Peter walked with the Lord. This is the contents. Not guys that are holding you under the old law of Moses. Peter was not holding you under the old law of Moses. It's crazy. It is crazy, bro. So, so our people, they have no understanding. And what I do is I tell you, you, you I tell y'all what I do. I go through you guys' communities and I scroll down. You, you guys, you dead guys in these camps. I look through your communities and I just shake my head. You guys are... You have a, a dead look to you. You have a doubting look to you. You have an evil look to you. You do. You guys look evil on these cameras because a lot of you guys are evil. And it's heavy because that's why the Lord said, uh, don't be in broad gates and wide path because they're the path for destruction. Because these broad gates and these broad paths, these have a lot of these men in these broad paths are the sons of the ones that kill the prophets. They are. They are. All right. That's why the elect are, are scarcely in there coming out. The elect are barely in these camps at this moment. These camps, they have the greater uh, damnation of judgment in these times because they're doing something that Esau's not really doing. Even though Esau got something to do with it, but what these camps are doing, Esau's not really doing because he can't, he's not able to, 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 do what Jake is doing. Jake can teach the Bible in a very deceitful manner on these streets. Because these guys are brute beasts. They're carnal. So they're ready to fight. They're ready to shoot. They're ready to kill. They're ready. Guys, you know, guys are in that murderous spirit anyway. So you can have a group of niggas out on the street with, with, with garments on. And by the way, the Lord said in Mark 12, beware of guys standing out in the markets in long robes. See, these guys pick the scriptures out of the new covenant that they pick. They pick the scriptures that they want to follow, like the highways and the hedges. And then they skip the other scriptures like the Lord said, repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. They're not telling you to repent to the new covenant. This is crazy. They're not telling you that God is in you. They're not telling you to circumcise your mind and be of the Lord's covenant. They're not telling you that. They, they like to pick with scriptures they like to pick. Well, the Lord said, beware you motherfuckers out there on the markets being seen. How about that? It ain't for you to go out there and be out there on the street for 40 years like some goddamn brute animals with no understanding. Teaching Esau. That's what you're teaching. So you guys are not, you don't have anything to do with this temple. The, this temple is a temple in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Let me read a couple things, man. It is very heavy in these times that you actually understand um, it is very heavy that you understand that you are of the Lord. Not you're hoping or you're waiting or you're or you're doubting. These guys, you know what? Let me explain this to you. It is power in understanding who you are. And what you want to do with yourself. Alright. It is power in that. It is power in you understanding that you are of God. So if you're of God and you're like. What you going to do? You're going to believe in the Lord first of all. You're going to repent. And if it's. If the Lord put it in your spirit. You're going to teach. And you're going to testify. With teaching and testifying. And prophesying the Lord. Those are higher levels. 
But it all starts with you believing, knowing that you are of God first. Which a lot of these guys, they have you. This is that's why I'm saying this whole these whole camps were set up uh, systematically, and it was set up in opposition of us brothers who knew who we are in these times. Because you have a camp full of guys that are doubting, and they look, they look damned. They look, they look like death out there, man. They don't look too good. And you know what? The credibility of these camps are they're losing their credibility. All right. That's why I tell you, brothers, just teach the Lord. And because by us teaching the Lord, people are getting an understanding and they're leaving groups. And they're looking at these groups like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? You're teaching the Lord, but you're not under his covenant. What the fuck is that? Yeah, people are waking up and like really putting that together. Even guys in the groups are. So what's happening is guys are really figuring out and people are figuring out and the elect is figuring out that is nothing for you in these camps. Now, let me read a couple things. I got a couple things I want to go into uh, with this lesson. But it is powering you understanding who you are, who you are. Now, these guys, they do not have that understanding. They're hoping and they're wishing and they're 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 hoping and they're they're, they're wishing on a dream. <laughs> they're not sure because they're they're teaching a doctrine where their camp leaders and their elders have given them a curriculum uh, to to really to, to to not even have them there. They're waiting. And the Lord and them wasn't pushing that. Paul and them wasn't pushing that. Now, let me read this real quick. Uh, Mark 8 and 27. And Yahushua went out and his disciples into the towns of Caesarea. And by the way, he asked his disciples saying unto them, whom do men say that I am? All right. Now check this out. And they answered John the Baptist. But some say Elias and others say and others, one of the prophets. And he said unto them. But whom say ye that I am? And Peter said unto him, thou art the anointed. And Peter answered and said unto him, thou art the anointed. Yahweh Shai knew who he was, and through the Spirit, Peter knew who he was. It is power and understanding who you are. So the elect and the ones that are of God, they're going to know who each other are. As well as themselves. It's not no hoping shit. That hoping shit, in terms of these camps, it is a doubtful maybe, maybe spirit that they have. It is a weak spirit. It is a carnal spirit because they're basing their belief on seeing some spaceships or seeing some new bodies or or flying. <laughs> Bro, these these camps got you guys all fucked up. Well, it was prophesied for that because you guys are supposed to be bundled up together in these big ass tear camps of false prophets. The, the prophets operated. On a matter of I am. Not no fucking hopeful shit. Mark. 14. And 60. And the high priest stood up in the midst. And asked how was I saying. Answerest thou nothing. Which is it. It says, which is it? This is when they had them on trial. These high priests, these were niggas, man, in the, in the synagogues. They're in the same spirit you guys are in today. You say you're teaching the Bible, but you're denying being under the Lord's covenant because all you guys keep the old covenant in, in, these, in these camps. That's what you guys do. So you, you're under that, at that administration of death that Paul talks about. I think it's in, uh, uh, what is it? First Corinthians. I think it's uh, 15. Uh, I think it's 6. I think 1 Corinthians 6. I think it, but it, it's the, the old ministration is the ministration of death. The old law of Moses. 
which those laws were break broken. That stone was broken. The laws were broken. So you guys under that old uh, covenant, you're broken and you're under the begly elements. Your, your elders, that means they're broken. Their knowledge is broken. Like the brother said, they're building their houses on sandcastles. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. And the winds of Yahweh Shai is blowing their shit down. It's shaking shit up. So you guys are of the old. You All you guys look old, too. It's crazy. <laughs> now, Mark, check this out. Mark 14 and 60. And the high priest stood in the midst and asked Yahweh Shai, I am as I am saying, Answer is thou nothing, which is it, which is it, which these witnesses against thee? But he held his peace, answering nothing. Right, because he is, the, the scriptures tell you don't answer not a fool. But the Lord is going to, show, I'm going to show you what he, what he going to say. And again, the high priest asked him and said unto him, Art thou the anointed son of the blessed? Now check this out. And Yahweh Shai answered and said, I am. Yahweh Shai answered and said, I am. It is power in knowing who you are exactly and not faking it. Just actually knowing who you are. That shows you have faith. That shows you have understanding. That shows you know who you are and you know where you're going. These guys that are hoping and doubting and maybe and we'll get there. We're not there yet. They don't know where the fuck they're going. They have no sense of direction. So it is power in understanding that you are of God. All right. It is power in that. That's why we are the third temple. And these guys are against it, just like them heathens were against the teaching of the temple back in Ezra. Because our people, they're, they're, they're heathens on the street. They're heathens, man. With, with Bibles. Check this out. And Yahweh Shai said, I am. Right. They the, the apostles in the new covenant, they didn't operate on maybe or hopeful or doubting or, or we'll get there. Yeah, we're waiting on this. They didn't operate on that. So we know by your why the all you guys camp doctrine by right there that you're not of God. Now, now it may seem far fetched, but we can see who's of God and who's not. Who's trying and who's not? Who's bullshit and who's not? We can see it. When, when you can see something, that means you know. You have understanding. That's why when you say I am, right? That means that you are that. And then you're telling yourself that you are that. And so eventually... You're, you will line up with being that because you are that. Now, if you can't tell yourself that you are, then that means you're not. You don't have that confidence or that faith. That's why the scripture tell you in Hebrews, the word didn't pro profit. See, guys are teaching without faith, without love, without. Th they're just teaching on the street being seen, thinking that means it's something. No, it, it doesn't mean anything if you're dead. The word is not going to profit you guys because it was not mixed with faith. Where's the faith at in the new covenant, which you guys are not a part of? So you never had no faith. You've never had the Holy Spirit. You've never had a comforter. This guy breaking down the, the name that no man knew. Right. You guys don't know the name because you've never been in the spirit. It's not just a carnal name. It's a spirit that you're on. You're in. When Paul got his, when Saul got his name, name changed to Paul. That was the Lord's new name being put on him because he was in the spirit of the Lord then. When Jacob's name got changed to Israel, it was the spirit that got put on him because he was of the Lord then. You change being of the Lord. That's when you get the name nobody knows. But because you guys are not a part of the Lord and you don't know him, when you know the Lord, it's like a man knowing a woman. When the elect know the Lord, it's like you're going to know the Lord intimately. You're going to understand them. You guys in these camps, you don't have that understanding. Because your elder told you you're waiting on that. You see that? So you don't have it right now. Yeah, you're being seen. And a lot of people are figuring out that you guys are false prophets. Mark uh, 14 and 60. And this is something that has to be done. 
And a lot of you guys don't have the heart to do it, so we have to do it, all right? In strength and in power and in conviction, all right? This ain't, we're not making this up. We just been, we just were sent here to break the scriptures down the right way, in the right proper context to get the other men to understand who they, who, who they are and we can get the fuck out of here. So the prophets in the New Testament, they didn't operate on a doubtful, hopeful shit. They operated on knowing who they were. Now, in certain scriptures, they will say the hopeful this and this and that. They will say that, but they were saying it because they understood the Lord and the covenant. Because they were hoping in the things unseen. You guys are hoping to see shit. It's crazy. Mark 14 and 62. And Yahweh Shai said, I am. And ye shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power coming in the clouds of heaven. Woo! Now check this out. And when the high priest, it says, then the high priest went his clothes and said, we need, it says, we need, we, it says, what we need, we any further witnesses? We have heard the blasphemy. What think ye? And they all condemned him to be guilty of death. You see that? So the, the wicked high priests and the guys in these synagogues, back in them times, they're back now by the spirit that they're in, hating the new covenant. They were in the same spirit right here when they put the Lord on trial. Remember, they spit in the Lord's face. And Peter was right there. Peter had to deny the Lord at that time to, to keep the furthering of the new covenant in Acts. Because if, if Peter... If they would have figured out that Peter was right there with them, they would have killed Peter too. So this is the prosecution that the Lord had to go through. What Peter then went through eventually in Acts and what we're going through through the spirit. But you niggas are going to be killed off in this time. <laughs> that's that's the funny part. You niggas, you niggas got to go. You don't because you're teaching the Bible. And you're not a part of it, so you're teaching it fucked up. You're twisting it up. You, you're perverting it. Just like you guys teaching this shit about women. You see? So by you doing that, that proves that you're not of God because the Lord wasn't teaching women. The Lord wasn't teaching the shit you guys are teaching on the highway. You guys are completely dead. And that's what the Lord said. If you're... It, hey, the Lord said, if a man bring not this doctrine, don't let him in your house. So if you're teaching another doctrine, hell yeah, we're going to separate from your ass. Hell yeah, we're going to separate from you and let you go teach women. All right, let you go teach other shit you want to teach. Just can't nobody say shit to you. Like I said, a lot of you guys hate to be corrected. And we don't got time to, for, to argue with guys. You want to teach women? Go teach women. That's why a lot of guys are not in the spirit. You're not in the spirit. A lot of guys are in a bitter, hateful spirit. Because they see the new covenant as progressing. Not through the teaching of women. Not through these camps teaching on the street. But the new covenant is flourishing due to a few of us, brother, keeping the doctrine pure. While the rest of you guys are upset. You just be upset. Hell yeah, we well, broke away from you fucking guys. That ain't right. What are we supposed to be? Stay around you while you can't be corrected? We've tried to correct, brother. Guys, guys don't want to be corrected. They want to do what they want to do. So we're not going to be seduced by a woman's spirit or a camp spirit or none of these spirits in the world. The apostles and the Lord, he said that I am. And you're going to see me coming on the right hand of power. That's how they operated. The Lord said he is well pleased with his son. Luke 3 and 22, and the Holy Ghost descended in the bodily shape like a dove upon him of a voice came from the heaven, which said, thou art my beloved son and who I am well pleased. So the Lord is the, 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 the heavenly father is well pleased with his son. And guess what? The heavenly father is well pleased with us defending his son, not bringing false doctrine. Understand that. We're blessed. While the rest of you guys are cursed. Right, so we're the sword of the Lord. The Lord said in Luke 19, let me read this real quick and come back to this. If they don't want the Lord to reign over him with his covenant, bring him over here so they can be slayed. 
Luke 19, 27. But those my enemy, this is red letters. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Bring hither and slay them before me. So the Lord has enemies like we have enemies. Paul talks about the enemies of the cross. That's all you guys in these synagogues teaching the old law of Moses. Dying. You're, you guys are of death. That is the ministration of death. It doesn't matter if people see you on garments. Those old garments, those are not the new garments of Yahweh Shai. It's crazy. You guys have no understanding. But you guys are the bundles of tares. All right. But in order for you guys to really understand it, shit going to have to get carnal. Then you're going to be like, damn, man, we was in these camps fucked up, man. Right. Because you were carnal the whole time. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, man. The fire is the teaching of the new covenant. The, the fire is the Holy Spirit. That's why the Lord said, uh, I, I, am, I am come to send fire on the earth. He says, I come to send fire on the earth. And what if it already be kindled? The, the new covenant, this, this new covenant is burning guys up, bro, on some real shit. Let me read this. Luke 12 and 49. I am come to send fire on the earth. I am come to send fire on the earth. So the Lord knew what he was come here to do. Like you supposed to know what you're here to do. You're either here to be a false prophet. And we can see that by your doctrine or you're here to be a, 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 a man of the Lord. There's no in between. It's by your doctrine. and You can't fake it. We, we see brothers are growing and understanding. We can see if you're growing and you're sincere. But then we can see like if you're if you got ill intentions, we can see where your heart said the scriptures say the, 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 the scriptures are a discerner of man's hearts. It is a discerner in the intents of the hearts. I don't think you guys understand it because you're carnal. Because guys are carnal, they think they can fool you from the outside. The, the new covenant don't operate like that anymore. Let me say that again. The new covenant don't operate like that anymore. Guys think they can fool you from the outside by how many subscribers they have or, or how many numbers they have or they, you see them in the garments on the street out there. And the, the new covenant don't operate like that. The new covenant operates inwardly. That's why you don't have to see us. You feel the spirit we're in. You feel what type of spirit we're in. You don't have to see a goddamn thing. You just feel the spirit. And this is what they were teaching in Acts, which was this had all the synagogues mad. That's why they hate the teaching of the new covenant. Now, Luke uh, 12 and 50, but I am baptized to be baptized with and how I am uh, straightened till it be accomplished. Suppose ye that I am come to get peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. So the Lord understood what he was meant to do. The new covenant is meant to come to cause a division. The Lord said, I am come to get peace on earth. Now, that was a question. Suppose ye that I am come to get peace on the earth. Nay, I tell you, I tell you nay, but rather division. So ain't nothing wrong with knowing what you're here to do. A lot of these false prophets know they're false prophets, but they want to admit it. But you can tell how they're teaching their false prophets. So standing on the street, it doesn't mean anything. You, you're dead out there. You see? Luke 22 and 27. It says, rather is for rather is greater. He that sitteth at me or he that serveth is not he sitteth at me, but I am among you as he that serveth. So Yahweh Shai understood that he was here to serve. Serve you what? A new way of life. 
but only the elect can receive it. The many that receive him, these are the ones that he gave eternal life. These guys don't teach eternal life because they're they're of death. They don't have a breakdown, the breakdown for eternal life. Because eternal life, you gotta, if you if you understand the Lord, if you know the Lord, just like a man and a woman know each other when you have sex, spiritually the elect are gonna know the Lord. That's why spiritually the elect can see you guys are false prophets. You see? We can see that you guys ain't intimate with the Lord. You're waiting. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh shit. So John the Baptist knew that he wasn't the Lord, but he knew he was he was he was set up to to get you ready for the Lord to come. Now the Lord coming. Us brothers that are a part of the Lord, we we are uh, mighty in the Lord because we're teaching the Lord's doctrine. That's why it's important to keep it pure and just teach the Lord's doctrine, understanding who you are. Now a lot of you guys know you're fucking demons, bro. You know that shit. John 1 and 23. And he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord as saith the prophet Isaiah. I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. And we are symbolic of John the Baptist too. We're symbolic of the Lord. We're symbolic of Peter, Paul, all his brothers of the new covenant. All the men knew that they were of God. Just like Peter knew that the Lord was the Lord. The Lord said, who do you say that I am? John 5 and 43. I am come in my father's name. Meaning the Lord is coming in his father's spirit. I am. Know who you are, man. But these guys in these camps, they're hoping. That's some weak shit. So when you're hoping, like in their terms, because they're hoping to see a sign. All right, let, let, let's get some understanding. We're not hoping for no carnal shit because we're in our power. Well, we have understanding of the mind. That's spiritual power. Faith is spiritual power. Discerning that spiritual power. Having correct judgment. That's spiritual power. Love. That's spiritual power. These are elements you guys don't have. You're brute animals. John 5 and 43. I am come in my father's name and ye receive me not. If, if another shall come in his own name, ye will receive. Because guys are carnal. They can only receive the camp curriculum. We're not under the camp, the spell of camps. We've broken that spell many years back. <laughs> you see? John 6 and 35. See, the Lord operated in terms of being that. They knew who they are. John 6 and 35. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never Thirst right. So when you come into this covenant and when you understand Yahweh Shai, you don't need nobody else to really explain nothing to you. We teach it because um it's certain things you you know you have to understand, and there's other brothers out there that are gonna that are going to understand certain things, but you brothers that really get it, you don't really need us to teach you, and that's what the scriptures mean. You don't need no man to teach you once you understand this. The Holy Spirit is teaching you just like when uh, in Acts, let me give you just like what the Lord did. When the Lord would heal somebody, then they were healed then. But until the Lord healed you, you didn't see you were blind. But once you were woken up, then you could see for yourself Then you need nobody to teach you. That's what it means, man. God, you niggas ain't got no understanding. And, but you got a bunch of you niggas on the street teaching. Esau, bro, is heavy. That's why it's going to be heavy judgments for picking that Bible up. And part of you being cursed is you being in darkness teaching. You don't have any understanding to understand that the Lord is here right now in us. 
you guys are putting the Lord off so you don't have the Lord in you. It's all a state of mind. So if you tell yourself you're not with the Lord, you're not with the Lord. You see, you see the simplicity of this thing. And so what's been set up is groups and floods and camps and doctrines. So you won't really understand that the Lord is in you. That's why these elders have been set up. To keep you away from you understanding that God is in you. All these reprobate niggas in these camps. If you look at these guys, bro, they're carnal. Their 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 demeanor, their their how they look, it's is it's all demonic. It's on some fucking you look at guys you're like, man, these guys are niggas on the street, really. For real. A lot of guys have that unsure look. A lot of these guys have that murderous look to them. They they have that evil look like they they've been doing evil shit their whole life and now they have the bible so they're cursed the lord said the 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 at the last state is worse than them before they even came in the truth because now in the spiritual sense you're spiritually evil because you know some things about the lord it's crazy yeah john 6 and 35 i am and yeah what should i say unto them i am the bread of life so the lord knew who he was know who you are John 6 and 51, I am the living bread. I am the living bread, bro. I am. Know that you are the elect. These camps are incapable of that. They're not convicted. They're wishing. They're hoping. They're praying on the star. They want to see. They got to see spaceships or fly first. Which that's crazy. That, that shows you that guys, the carnal, a wicked generation. They seek about their sign. Man, these scriptures are, are right to the T. It's just that it's not for you carnal guys. Because what you what carnal men will do, they'll try to take the scriptures and manipulate them and have you and twist them up. Have you thinking about women? Have you thinking about Esau? Have you have you feared of this world? That's what carnal guys are using the scriptures for. But we're teaching you how to see past that shit. That nothing from the outside can harm you unless you are not sure from within yourselves. So if you are unsure, you're doubting, you're in fear. Guess what's going to happen in your life? Doubt, fear, and unsureness, and you're not going to be with the Lord. But if you understand that you are of God, what's going to happen? You're going to grow in the Lord. You're going to grow in strength because you are of the Lord. You understand where you're going. If if you set a goal, if if like it's just like these niggas in these camps. Since they don't know, they are the elect. They don't, they don't have that conviction. They don't know where they're going in these last days. Now, on the other hand, us brothers that know that we are of God, we have set a goal in our mark, in our mind to work towards. And your mind and your spirit draws those things in your life that that that's along with that goal. So if you say you're of God and you know you're of God, the everything's gonna move you in that in that in that way to keep you in the in the in the way of God. That's why they, if they could tell you, hey, you're not in the covenant yet, then you don't have God in you because you've told yourself that. It's heavy, man. That's why the Lord said, uh, if thou believe, do you do do you believe this? John uh, 9 and 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of of the world. So the Lord was operating off of being, knowing who he was. I am. All right. Not no hoping, doubting shit. And only we can teach these certain things. Nobody else is teaching like we're teaching. Nobody. Because it's not in them like that. And it's not like we're boasting. It's just the truth. So the Lord said, I am the light of the world. When uh, I love that story in um, Samuel, when he when Saul was walking with him and the whole time Saul didn't know he was with Samuel and Samuel told Saul, I am the seer. All the prophets knew that they were sent of God, bro. All of them. Even with Joseph, when they cast Joseph off in Egypt, Joseph knew that he was of the Lord. And he knew that he was uh, Jacob's favorite. It's heavy, man. It's, bro, I can go on and on teaching this. John 12 and 46. I am come a light unto the world. I am come a light into the world. I 
I don't think you guys understand. Well, you brothers that are of God, you understand. And it's beautiful. The rest of you guys in these camps, even though you're flooding the street, this spirit, you cannot cover this spirit up that we that that's going out there that's actually healing men. And it's really actually working. And I feel it too, brothers. I I feel it myself. <laughs> you brothers feel it and I feel it and I, I've been feeling it. Like the Lord said, like Isaiah said, this is the way, walk ye in it. So we are the third temple. We are the third temple. The Lord said, ye are the temple of God. Which temple ye are. Shh. So understanding this, you have to put yourself as the elect. You have to say it to yourself. You have to fill it within yourself. This ain't about just going on the street teaching Bible scriptures. This is about you just reciting, just knowing Bibles. That's what guys are doing. They're just on the street, just teaching Bible scriptures with no conviction or truly understanding this thing. They've just memorized some shit. Like this some shit of, of elementary school. No, man. This is of you understanding that you're of God with conviction. Telling yourself that. And you're only able to tell yourself that because you understand that you are. You can't tell yourself that if you understand that you're not. Hey, the Lord said, beware of these guys on these streets. Just like they say, they like to pull the scripture out, go to the highways and the hedges. Well, the flip side of that in Mark 12, the Lord said, beware of you guys on the highways. So break that down then. Break that down. What, what is the Lord talking about? You don't know. None of you niggas don't know shit. You just know the curriculum that your, your elders taught them. And what we're teaching is outside of your curriculum. It's higher than your curriculum. You don't have no, you don't have no answers for what we're teaching over here. And you won't have no answers. <laughs> so this is going to be the intro to that. We are, the, this is, we are the temple. We are the third temple. We are the third temple. This is John 12 and 46. I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. Right. So if you're not in the new covenant, you're abiding in darkness. Let me read that again. I am the light of the world. So if the Lord's the light of the world, we're the light of the world now. You see that? The Lord did, he said he didn't no longer call us servants, but we're what? Friends. Whosoever what? Believe it. He didn't say whosoever wait on a new body or whosoever wait on a spaceship or whosoever wait on to be in your own land. No. He said whosoever believe. Like, like the brother say, meditate, meditate <laughs> for real. These guys are overcomplicating you, eating it. They're overcomplicating it. And it's only simply you just believe it. And it's whosoever is for the elect. Because we understand the rest of the world are incapable to believe. Whosoever of the elect, from the smallest to the greatest is the elect. All right. That's why the scriptures say, if a man don't bring this doctrine, don't let him in your house, don't let him in your mind, don't let him in your body. Don't eat that shit. Meaning, don't take it in. You know the term of, uh, you may listen to somebody, but you don't hear them. You see? So, we might scroll through certain guys' pages, we might listen to what they say, but we're not hearing them. We're not soaking that shit in. We're not we're not taking that shit in. The Lord told us to watch as well as pray. The Lord will, tell, will, will go up in John 7. He will go up in secret and just scope out everything, what guys are talking about and what's going on. But he will be in secret. And we're in that same spirit too. We go out, we go out and we may be amongst you just to see what you're speaking. John 12 and 46, I am the light of the world and that whosoever believeth on me shall not abide in darkness. So if you're not in the new covenant, you're in darkness, bro. It's plain right here. 
All you have to do is believe. If you don't believe, you're in darkness. And according to the new covenant, um, your elders, the elders that Paul was speaking about, he was speaking of Peter. That's who he was, he was speaking about Peter and James and John and them. That's who Paul was speaking about. He wasn't speaking about these old motherfuckers in these corrupted synagogues, which you guys are, you don't understand the double honor scripture because it's a double honor of respect in the spirit. Everything in the new covenant is spiritual. That's why these guys teaching out of the New Testament saying they're not of it, they don't have an understanding like that because they're not spiritual. It's a whole other spiritual element that guys are missing when they're teaching the new covenant. I mean, when they're teaching the New Testament, because they're not teaching the New Covenant. It's the same thing. But when guys teach out of the, the New Testament, they don't have that whole other spiritual element, which is the belief, which is the understanding, which is the judgment of the Lord. We have the judgment of the Lord because we have his mind. What do I mean by us having the Lord's mind? We have the Lord's heart. It was already given already. You have to recognize if you have it. You have to see guys who don't have it. That's what this is. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. You know, it is beautiful for us. It is marvelous in our eyes. So we, if the Lord was the light of the world, we're the light of the world. If we're abiding in the, in the Lord, we're not in the darkness of this world. You have to abide in the Lord now. Guys are literally telling you you're waiting. So that means while you wait, you're in darkness. You're blind. It's just like if you say, hey, well, cut the light on. And you're like, no, I'm waiting on the light to be cut on. But you're saying you see, you say you see. And when the light's not even on, oh, we, we, well, we're in the spirit right now, but we're waiting. No, you're in the dark, motherfucker. <laughs> it's crazy. John 12 and 47. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I am come, I am came not to judge the world, but to save the world. So the Lord in that time, he was in that time he was coming not to judge the world. We're in the end of the world. The world's being judged now. But at that time when he came, he was coming to establish the new covenant to save the world of Israel, to save the the, the election. Not all our people. All our, uh, the majority of our people hated him. They martyred the prophets down. But I don't see how you guys can say that you won't die no more when you're not the children of the resurrection. You're the children of fucking hell. So you don't have that breakdown. You don't have, it's a spiritual element to the New Testament that guys do not have naturally. And this is what we're displaying. This is the side and a part of it that guys hate because they don't have, their understanding don't, they, they, their, their understanding can unlock these doors that we have over here. Now, check this out now. This is what the Lord said. He said, um, I'm come not to judge the world, but to save the world, the world of Israel, the elect. Now, check this out. John 12 and 48. He that rejected me, he that rejected me and receive of not my words. Check this out. Have one that judge him and the word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. Woo! And this is what our job is to do. That's why the Lord said, greater works than ye shall do than these. This is the greater work, us judging in the last day according to the Lord's words. That's why it's all about the new covenant. It's all about the Lord and his breakdown. What I'm teaching, what the few brothers are teaching. What I mean few, and you might have a bunch of brothers they may believe, but it's just a few brothers that really have this doctrine. And it is precious. And, and you could tell you can tell, like, nobody is, is teaching like we're teaching. Because it was set up for us just to teach, to bring a few in. This is the Israel of power. And we could look at guys in their doctrine and tell that they're not of God. It's easy. It's very easy. I love this thing. So this word in this last day is judging all you false prophet elders. <laughs> it's heavy, bro. Let me grab this. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I gotta. I'm gonna do a part two to this. I got other scriptures, but the, the Lord took. He wanted you to understand that 
You have to tell yourself that you are and you have to believe it. Not no hoping shit. We ain't doubting on shit. We know the Lord is with us. We know the Lord protects us. We know the Lord feeds us. We know the Lord wakes us up every day. We know the Lord gives us ideas. We know the Lord broadens our mind. We know the Lord put the spirit in our heart. We know the Lord already have done these things. You have to be thinking like that. Not no doubting shit. These guys are about to die. Because their doctrine is the administration of death, bro. You're under that old law, you're cursed, man. That's why guys go to the streets with no understanding. <laughs> it's crazy. Mark 12, it says, uh, beware of these motherfuckers with long robes on the street. That's what it says. So the, if the Lord said, come bring them hither, then slay my enemies before me. You got to understand that the enemies of the Lord have to be slayed in this time. All right. And this is spiritual war. It's not that nice Christian Sunday school shit. This is the real doctrine of the Lord, which is set up to slay men in the spirit. The same way Elijah slayed those prophets of Baal in the Old Testament. It is set to slay men in the spirit. And we have the keys over here. Now check this out. John 14 and 6. Yahweh Shai saith unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. We are the third temple. Repent and renew your mind by understanding the gospel. Listen to it over and over and over. I listen to the gospels over and over and over and over. I read the gospels over and over and over. To it has, it, I'm gonna say this. This is a secret. This is a little secret too. The gospels and Yahweh Shai and his story and his understanding have become a part of my subconscious mind so much that everything of the Lord that he did and he understood and all his ways will be in your mind. You will become, you will have the mind of the Lord literally. So everything that, that worked out for the Lord is going to work out for you. The, the, the earth will be helping you. Just like it helped the Lord, just like it healed. So by you being up there, you're going to help be able to help heal men. So by you repeti repetitiously teaching a new covenant, reading a new covenant, studying a new covenant, you will become the new covenant. So therefore, we are the third temple. And I get with you, brother, ones on the next one. And with that, hey, Shalom, repent, man, repent.
to declare it!